Capitals. Summer, are you coming up? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I had a couple of drinks and. Um, no, it says SAG to give summer time to get to stage. Oh, Segway. Oh, that's me. I have to kill time. Oh, anyway, Summer will be coming out in a second. Uh, she is uh, really working the crowd and working the stage. And um, I don't know, she uh, works the pool, I guess, too. You know, she does it all. She swims. She uh, doubles up on the chair with the other ladies. And... All right, ladies and gentlemen, on deck. Uh, the Doc Councilman Coach of the Year Award, presenting a pair of athletes who competed under coaching legends. At USC, he broke world records and was the Pac-10 Swimmer of the Year four straight years, swimming for the uh, singular Peter Dahlen. I hope I pronounced that right. Dahlen, that's what I said. <laughs> At Stanford, she was a back-to-back -back NCAA Swimmer of the Year and led the Cardinal to the 1992 national title under the incomparable Richard Quick. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome teammates on the 92 Barcelona team, Olympic silver medalist Dave Wharton and four-time Olymp Olympic medalist Summer Sanders. <laughs> for that original comment. <laughs> the legendary Doc Councilman once summed up his approach to training in three words, hurt, pain, and agony. Like Councilman, your nominees know that there's no shortcut to success. It requires total commitment, and that's what these coaches give to each of their athletes. First, there's Bob Bowman, who has been nominated for this award every year of the Golden Goggles existence, winning the honor three times. In 2011, he played three of his North Baltimore swimmers on the world championship team, and once again, he managed to bring out the best in Michael Phelps. Next, there's Terry McKeever, head coach of the NCAA national champion Cal Berkeley women's team. She also plays three swimmers on the world champs team, including Natalie Coughlin and 100 fly world champion Dana Vollmer. Like Bowman and McKeever, USC head coach Dave Salo <laughs> played three of his swimmers on the I world team as that. well. You did beat Oregon last night though, so that's good. That's true. <laughs> Leading the way once again was Rebecca Sony, his undisputed queen of the breaststroke. Our next nominee is new to Golden Goggles nominations. In 2001, Colorado Stars head coach Todd Schmitz earned his first nod thanks to his world-class coaching of his world-beating star. And she was awesome up here, very well-spoken, poised Missy very Franklin, nice. who claimed five medals at the World Championships. Our last nominee is the head Olympic coach of next year's 2012 men's team. This year, Greg Troy plays five of his Florida Gators on the world team, including both world champions in the 400 IM, Elizabeth Beisel and Ryan Lockley. <laughs> Your nominees for Coach of the Year, Bob Bowman, Terry McKeever, Dave Salo, Todd Schmitz, and Greg Troy. Bob Bowman earned his eighth straight Coach of the Year nomination after a successful 2011. He placed three swimmers on the World Championships team, including Michael Phelps, Allison Schmidt, and Elizabeth Pelton. <laughs> Terry McKeever had a phenomenal 2011, starting with her Cal Bears winning the NCAA team title in March. She also placed three athletes on the World Championships team, Natalie Coughlin, Dana Vollmer, and Caitlin Leverett. With his fourth straight nomination, Dave Salo once again proved he's among the elite coaches in the world. He placed three women on the U.S. team, including Jessica Hardy, Haley Anderson, and triple gold medalist Rebecca Sony. Todd Schmidt earned his first Golden Goggles nomination by coaching Missy Franklin and Carolyn Joyce on the World Championships team. Franklin uncorked a sparkling performance by winning five medals, three of them gold. Rick Troy placed five athletes on the World Championships team this summer, led by Ryan Lochte, who was named Male Swimmer of the Meet in Shanghai, and Elizabeth Feisel, who took home gold in the 400 IM. And the winner of the 2011 Doc Councilman Coach of the Year Award is... Greg Troy.
it's always humbling to be in this situation because uh, all those coaches there, they're, they're fantastic individuals, um, know how to challenge their athletes, and they're tremendous. And I'm sure they would all feel exactly the same way I do. Um, there's no one you can thank more than the athletes you work with. They're tremendous individuals. Um, if it wasn't for their dedication, their, their commitment to what they do, uh, there's no way we would be successful. Uh, I'd like to thank the, Feder the uh, foundation for their support and their interest in swimming. Uh, certainly Ms. Dirks and everything she does to, to provide what we do for swimming. Um, uh, certainly my wife who is out there and family who understands the commitments involved for athletes to be successful. But more than anything else, um, I think the real priority needs to be the athletes, just like these people back here. We just produce great people for the sport, great people for society, and uh, I'm just honored to be involved. Thank you very much. Next.